last night. Can you highlight Hugh's Lulu's comment? Because it's brilliant, and she's 100% right. Does everyone go after Fox 5 when they interview killers and molesters and shit? She's 100% right. Lulu? Tattoos. Oh, tattoos. Yeah, well, I mean, it's the same argument when people want to say, oh, I don't like you because you, um, you're monetizing and exploiting the bad. Everybody in YouTube, <laughs> glass houses. Yeah. Listen, listen, it is a moral thing. You know what? It's all about judging other people. And a lot of people did praise me and say thank you for handling this guest in a kind manner. There's nothing wrong with being kind to this guy. Okay? He might not be, you know, King, you know, Harry. Was he, uh, was uh, he kind Harry. to Fine. his he's victim? Not Harry. We get that. But Fine. he's not babysitting our kids either. Exactly. I, I, I just can't believe that anybody could look at any anything that we say or do, and especially because it was a collective effort, it go. They have a habit of bringing in people with disreputable reputations into the community, and now they're bringing somebody that's f out of jail with a murderer. Fresh out of jail with a murderer. And now they're going to generalize him. He's just a member of the community now. No. You introduced him, Molly, to how many women? Are you insane? You're insane. Oh, in her head, oh my God, let me attack these women. Yeah, the Lady Whistledown is right. According to everybody, he's been all over on multiple panels. Why is she only talking about us? They're trying to normalize him in their little pea brains. It's a fight against morality and they've lost. So now they're going to a murderer. To get validation for their channel? Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Amanda Panda, get a fucking life. Who's Amanda Panda? Oh, Jesus. Amanda Woman. Jesus Christ. And this girl, I'm telling you, Mandy, and I'm not being a bitch here, <laughs> but it is people like you. And I said something very, very similar to Mary Ann the other night. When you look for trouble, you're going to find it. I don't know where you girls grew up, but me and Laura did not grow up in places where, you know, you got away with running your mouth and blah, 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 blah. You obviously grew up in a different place than I've ever been in my entire life. And there's not one person, not one person I've met online that even come close to the repulsiveness of you Molly and you, Laura, ever, never. And if I ever met anybody like you in the outside world, it wouldn't happen. I, I, I can't even, I can never see myself ever in a room with you two, ever. And anybody I'd listen to be in a room with those two women. They are disgusting. Uh, no, people like me and Laura, we threw down. We had to take our earrings out. And no, they take their shirts off and she jiggles her tits. That's what she does. And if she doesn't get off on this side, she goes over to D-Link and does it over there. Real good mother. Yeah, where's mom? She's on D-Link showing everybody her boobs. Okay, and thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. You get your ass Thank you, Mom. Being the pinup girl for my high school and my college dorm. Thank you, Mom. For talking shit. 
How are you going on the street? Oh, you know, you know what? You, you you're not out there in the street, man. You are you? You know what? You're gonna come across the wrong person someday. Yes, Molly, you are, and Laura, so are you. You're all gonna come across the wrong friggin' person, and it's gonna happen. I don't know when. You don't know because you've got this out across the internet. All this vile shit that you two produce is out there. And now other people in other communities are dissecting our community and what you people say. And it's not nice. I think you can't be found, but you can. Hi, Tiff. Hey, I just noticed I have to redo this so I can redact something, but, um, hold on. Just remember, these three women that are on the screen, Molly, Laura, and Tiffany Marie, all hated each other a few months ago. Hey, Buffalo Jill. 